geographically detached biocybernetic research and development project exploring aspects of creativity and artistry in the age of new biological technologies. It is an installation distributed across several locations in the world. Cultured nerve cells grow and live in a neuroengineering lab in Atlanta and via the internet control the movement of a robotic arm that is capable of producing two-dimensional drawings. The nerve cells and drawing arm communicate with each other in real time. MiArt is assembled from three main components. These are the wetware, the hardware and the software. The wetware is the embryonic mouse neurons that are grown over a multi-electrode array. The hardware is the robotic drawing arm and finally the software that interfaces between the wetware and the hardware. The internet is used to mediate between its components and overcome its geographical detachment. MIAD is suggesting future scenarios where humans will grow intuitive and creative thinking entities that could be intelligent and unpredictable beings. They may be created by humans for anthropocentric use, but as they will be creative and unpredictable, they might not necessarily stay the way they were originally intended. While the artistic values of the outcomes of this process are still in the eyes of the beholder, the questions regarding the possibilities are real. What will happen when such a system starts to express qualities that are considered uniquely human aptitudes such as art? MiArt's identity extends beyond our cultural comprehension of living systems. Made from living biological matter, mechanics and electronics simultaneously, questions the viewer's perception of the concept of sentience. MiArt has the ability to sense the outside world through a camera that acts as its eyes. It has the ability to process what it sees through the neurons that act as its brain. It has the ability to react accordingly through the robotic drawing arm that acts as its body. The internet then functions as an extended nervous system. Within Dr. Steve Potter's lab at the Georgia Institute of Technology in Atlanta are living neural cultures. He is applying different technologies to study dissociated cultures of tens of thousands of mammalian neurons. When MiArt is performing, the relationships between the stimulation to the neural culture and the resulting drawings are observed. This phase of MiArt is known as the portrait series. A webcam captures images of viewers within the gallery space. These images are then converted into a stimulation map used to stimulate the neurons. This is the beginning of the drawing process. A multi-channel recording from the neural culture is performed in Potter's lab. This will capture the neural activity that results from the stimulations. The resulting data is then processed in two locations, Atlanta and Melbourne with the outcome converted to movement of the drawing arm. MiArt operates in a manner similar to the way in which an artist draws, in that the artist is constantly looking at the drawing progression on the paper and comparing it to the original subject. In MiArt, the progression of the drawing is monitored and compared with the original image. The difference between the two is then sent back to the lab as another stimulation map to complete the feedback loop. Begun in 2000, the Symbiotica Research Group is a collaboration between artists, scientists and computer programmers within the School of Anatomy and Human Biology at the University of Western Australia. Symbiotica is a unique artist-run research laboratory dedicated to the exploration of scientific knowledge in general and biological technologies, in particular from an artistic perspective. The first phase of the project was entitled Fish and Chips and was the beginning of research into creative semi-living entities. It was exhibited in Ars Electronica 2001, in an installation in which the audience interacted with a semi-living artist at different levels of the creative process. The semi-living artist was assembled from slices of fish tectum, a recording device, and two art producing devices, an artificial muscle operated robotic arm and a synthesizer. Subsequently the group met Dr. Steve Potter, the 
Potter Group is involved in the study of neural networks. They are especially interested in distributed activity patterns and the information processing within these networks. In one technique, the neural networks are given a body, either simulated or robotic, and an environment in which to behave. The Symbiotica group decided to embody some of these neural networks by interfacing them with a drawing arm, a process which took almost a year to develop. MiArt is now on its fourth stage and has been exhibited in Perth, New York City, Spain and Melbourne. As it is an ongoing research and development project, it's constantly evolving, changing and progressing technologically and conceptually.